Um, so I got this game. It's kind of hard to find. Not really that hard to find, but it's pretty expensive. Uh, it's Ren and Stimpy's Time Warp on the SNES. You can see that it's in not the best shape. Um, has this this sticker on on the front from like a rental. It was a previous rental, and then has like a residue like void. And then in the back you have uh, obviously I can't do anything about this, but um, if I care enough, I might actually swap the back. But in the meantime. I'm gonna try to get this off and clean it real good. And my quick tip for you, because I, I did plenty of videos where I cleaned cartridges for you, but I didn't really show you how to do this. Um, so this is a dangerous situation if you're a collector. You see these stickers, and a lot of collectors will just like pass on this, be like, forget it. I don't even, I don't even want to deal with this. However, there's if you if you're not too picky, there's a way to get this off without tearing at the label, without having to pick at the label. Um, you know going too crazy with it and i'm going to show you how to do that at least my method real quick okay so what you're going to need is a baby wipe or or some kind of uh disinfecting wipe um i usually use baby wipes so i'm actually going to use a disinfectant wipe because this is pretty gnarly um so get it out of the container and make sure you squeeze the excess liquids off you want this thing to be kind of not dry and not super wet but damp you just you don't want it to be you don't want it to have be you know drips um, as you can see this one dripped because I just squeezed it out But you want to make sure you get all the moisture out because moisture will hurt the label and what you're gonna do is very lightly Just go over start at the bottom. Don't start on the label start like, usually they put it like this um, So if it's like in between a label and a, and a surface start at the bottom and then work your way up and and as you get to the label you're gonna barely put barely put any pressure over this you can see that I just barely touched the bottom. It's already coming off. Um, now, in my experience, the Clorox disinfectant wipes or the light or the Lysol wipes actually work a little bit faster at getting them off, but they are are a little bit more harsh on the label. So you got to be very careful. First, I want to clear the the excess off on the actual cartridge and as you can see I'm being very careful not to do this on the label yet we are gonna go over the label but first we gotta clear the excess off and the reason why I'm starting with with the part on the plastic is because if you do it on the label sometimes you can actually without realizing it do it too much and you can also um, miss this part right here which I'm going over with my fingernail but if you look right here, you see where all, all the residues built in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my fingernail. And I'm going to go ahead and just go very carefully. If you don't have uh, your nails cut longer, you can um, use like a little wedge tool. But honestly, even if you have your nails cut, cut you know, short like this, you can still do it. But you want to make sure you get the corner of the label cleared up. Because if you don't, you can actually um, it can actually rip as you're cleaning it. It can actually rip at the edges if it if it's attached to some kind of other um you know the plastic so make sure you you do this really good so you're going to do it very lightly you're going to barely put any pressure on the label um like i said the goal isn't to get rid of this sticky residue the goal is to just clear the clear it so you can see the label now i'm aware that this method might not be for everybody uh, a lot of collectors do not want any type of residue on their label at all. But I'm of the mindset that a little bit of sticky residue that you can see the label through is better than having a piece of paper blocking the label. And with anything, if you're a collector, with anything, buy it now. If you get it cheap, deal with it after you clean it up. And then maybe down the line you'll find one that has a better label and sell the other one. You know, it's not a permanent thing. Nothing in life is permanent. <laughs> We're just trying to get this a little bit more, a little bit more um, respectable, I guess. So let's just keep going at it. Let's see. This side is a little bit trickier where the Nintendo is. I'm actually gonna kind of use my finger to just kind of, and, and you're gonna do this very lightly because there's a clear little, um, there's actually a clear, layer over the label itself and once you eat through that clear layer then you're going to start fading the label the label is going to start losing its color it's going to be faded and that's not going to be good either all right 
So now that I, I applied a little bit of pressure with my fingers, the rest of the label just kind of comes off. And you can see the label now. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more daring, shall I say, and just kind of label a little bit more. Now, you can work at this more and more. As you can see, it's slowly, even the, the um, some of the, the, um, the goopy stuff is coming off and you can use Goo Gone and all that. But my, my experience is if you use Goo Gone, something about those chemicals can really start eating at that plastic. So if you look closely, I'm trying to get this in the right light so you can see. If you do this just right, you can get it so your thumb can just peel it away. And so once again, we're gonna do a little bit more moisture, a little light. I, I have to say, I think I got lucky on this one. Um, this one's actually coming off a lot easier than most of them. I know I'm making this look easy, and it's because it's a little easier than it usually is. Yeah, that goop is coming right off with my thumb. But of course, it's you gotta be. It takes time. You gotta be patient and work at it, and be very gentle without messing up the label. So, normally, there's gonna be clear goop left over if it's like a really old rental label especially there'll be some clear goop left over and you could still see it but we kind of just live with it it's nice improving on things i have been forgotten about all right let's do the top all right so you're probably wondering what i'm gonna do about this little void part left over that I'm going to use a very gentle magic eraser. Um, not going to do it too much because if you do it too much, it's going to really start eating away at the plastic texture. The whole point is to not eat away at the plastic texture, but eat away at the label. So if you're using a magic eraser, eat away, use a very light touch and just do it enough to eat away at the actual label and not the cartridge. You don't want to get rid of the, the little, uh, you know, texture on there. Let me do a little bit more. Yeah, the texture's still there. All right. I wasn't even going to show you all this originally, but I figure, what the heck? Even if maybe you're just watching this to relax. You know, some people, I know I like to watch people fixing clean things. Not that I'm fixing anything right now, but. All right, so here, the back of the label's already damaged. Someone already tried to take the security label off, so nothing lost here. And you can see that this one, these security labels are a lot harder to get off. So I'm probably honestly gonna replace the back. Um, not, you know, I am gonna get this off, but I'm not gonna really worry about messing up the texture because I am gonna be replacing the back, probably with a crappy sports game or something. So, who cares if the texture is not, you know, attached anymore. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop be, being so gentle with it. Because like I said, I don't really care about the texture. And we're just gonna kinda. And even though I am being rough with it, you can see that it takes a lot to get that texture smoothed out. I don't think I'm going to even have a problem with the texture being too smoothed out by the time I'm done here. Um, by the way, I use these cheap 10 cent Chinese magic erasers because I'm not paying $2 each. These are like one time use erasers if you're like cleaning with them or if you're doing what I'm doing with them. And I'm okay with that at 10 cents. You know, I don't mind if they degrade in my hands because they're 10 cents. All right, so if you see any leftover residue, just use your fingernail or a wedge tool if you must, and just kind of clean it out. And then we're just gonna do a final, there's one little, there we go. The last little pieces of 
particular. That one's like a really in there. There it goes. And we're just gonna clean it. Now, one thing that I do with these NES cartridges is I go between the ridges, kind of clean any dust or residue that remains. I think there's still a little bit of residue right here near the label. I'm just gonna go over this one more time. And this, the thing that makes these labels more difficult is these are pretty much like, um, these are pretty much like almost glue, especially after all these years of sitting on there. It pretty much turns into like a glue, like a, I would even argue almost like a super glue. So it really adheres to the um, back of the cartridge. But we got it. Um, let me go over it one more time. And, and honestly, another reason why I like these cheap 10 cent Chinese uh, magic erasers, and they're 10 cents because I buy a hundred of them for 10 bucks, but I like them because they're actually, because they're not as good of quality. You're, they, they First of all, they still do the job even though they're lower quality, but they don't do the job good enough to mess up the, the, uh, the texture. They don't eat the texture as much. Now, if I kept going at it, it would eventually eat the texture, but it's not like, you know, gonna do it you know, first the first time. So yeah, um, a little bit of residue here. Let me just clean. This thing's almost done. Okay, so now you can see how clean the cartridge looks. And I know I said I wasn't gonna actually uh, take this tape off, but then I realized it's not on that well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try. So let's see if we can get this tape off. Now, this is easy. Like, if the tape has been on there for years, or if it is like it looks like someone already tried to get it off and they couldn't. Use Goo Gone at your own risk. I really don't like using Goo Gone on labels. It really does deteriorate the um, the clear coat pretty quickly. But if you must, go ahead. But this is easy. So if you have something like this, like this situation where it, it's already kind of starting to come off for you, the whole thing is patience. Do it as slow as possible. Almost more slow than you need to. Basically, no resist. Uh, no resistance you want to do it so slow that you don't feel any resistance because you don't want to be pulling at the plastic or at the label you want to just basically have it do the work for you now i'm aware this is going to leave some sticky residue behind but you can see how easily we can get rid of that so we're just peeling it very very slowly slowly we don't want to damage the label and there you go it's off and you see some residue so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our thumb to just kind of push that residue together kind of bunch it up together very gentle you don't want to be too forceful and yeah it's coming off pretty easily get any residue left all right so putting in the light to see if I see any other residue because I originally wasn't gonna make it so dang perfect but you know what why not um, you gotta be careful when you're doing this though because if you try to make it too perfect, that's usually when you screw something up. I'm just gonna go over very lightly. You're probably like, what are you doing? I'm gonna just do it very lightly just to clean up any thing that I might've missed. And I think I'm done. Look at that. Like this would be considered pretty close to mint. Uh, very good condition. Um, I might replace the back with a crappy Madden game or something, but yeah. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it wasn't as quick as I thought it was going to be, mostly because I got a little ambitious because uh, it just worked out so well. But if you like this type of video, I might be making more of these in the future. Go ahead and just leave a comment in the comment section and let us know if you want to see more of these videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. And thank you for watching. Bye.